Hi, I'm Milo. I'm here in Washington as part of my international speaking tour. I'm going to give a briefing on the Hill about my project to reduce the number of disposable plastic straws we use and throw away. It seems extremely wasteful to make a product that we will use for less than 15 minutes, but that will be here on Earth, somewhere on Earth, long after my own grandchildren are born. These straws are sitting in a landfill or turning up as litter on our countrysides, floating in our streams, winding up in those huge islands of plastic trash in our oceans. I noticed that if I didn't ask for my drink without a straw, it would usually come with one automatically in it. This seemed like a huge waste because I don't usually need a straw. I learned that we use about 500 million straws in the US alone. That's enough straws to fill more than 46,000 big yellow school buses per year. I thought, that's a lot of straws, and that's something I can do something about. So I started out by encouraging restaurants to offer straws instead of serving one with every drink automatically. I remember the first restaurant that signed on, it was called Lunig's Bistro. It makes a lot of sense, and if half of our customers say no straw, I'm going to save a penny or two on every soda. And from there I got on local, national, and international news. He's only nine, but he's a young man on a mission. A lot of people just don't even use their straw, they just take it out of their drink. His idea has changed businesses from his home state of Vermont to Tennessee and California. He's even met the governor. I'm about to give a briefing at the Rayburn office building, and I'm really excited about this opportunity to see my project implemented more broadly. I came here today to tell you about my project, which is called Be Straw Free, and to ask you to consider helping me reduce the number of disposable plastic straws we use and throw away. We usually think of restaurants when we think of straws, but they're given out with most drinks served anywhere. There are lots of options besides disposable plastic straws. There are paper straws and also reusable straws made from glass, bamboo, stainless steel, when I first started this project, I thought that adults wouldn't listen to what a kid has to say. Actually, mayors in the U.S. and abroad, as well as governors and congressmen, as well as the National Restaurant Association, are willing to listen. For example, the governor of Colorado proclaimed a straw-free day statewide in July of this year. It makes people think, oh well, it's really easy to make the change that will affect our planet. On my website, I have a place where people can pledge not to use disposable plastic straws for 30 days. And people have told me once they did that, that not using straws made me think of all the other ways I could make a change. We watched the Young Voices for the Planet films and decided that we should do something like that here in Falmouth, where people get on the ferry from Martha's Vineyard. We've talked to restaurants, Girl Scouts, schools, and local organizations about not using straws. One restaurant thought that our idea to skip the straw was a very cool idea to help marine life. Now they do not give straws unless the person that they're serving asks. It's pretty cool that now maybe all of them are going to start doing this. It's time to reduce, reuse, and rethink our plastic. Sign the pledge to skip the straw. Well, he's obviously getting some attention. He also tells us that right now two communities, one in Vermont and one in Colorado, are actually competing to see which one will get the most restaurants on board.